Hey everyone, Greeno here. It's been a while, but I'm back. So here I am folks in the salubrious surroundings of the Weymouth FC PA box. I'm here tonight with my media pass here doing the stadium announcing for a big game in the Dorset Senior Cup between Weymouth and Dorchester Town. Bit of a local rivalry that one. But I'm not here to bring you anything about the football. After the game tonight, I've got a magic bag lined up. So, get the football out of the way. It's a cold, wet and windy January night. Yeah, I'm going to need a bit of grub after, I think. So hopefully, it'll be something good. Let's go take a look. Please welcome your teams onto the pitch. Our visitors, Dorchester Town and your terrors. Big game under the lights tonight then, folks. Let's get behind the team. Come on, you terrors. Right, so that's the football all done. A good, solid 2-0 home win for Weymouth. Takes them through to the Dorset Senior Cup final. But of course, that's not what we're here for today. I'm off to go and get my magic bag. Come on, let's go. Right, apologies for the lighting here, guys. It's a little bit dark. It's just around 10 a.m., at 10 p.m. even, at night. It wouldn't be this dark at 10 a.m., would it? Good Lord. Um, so, yeah, so it's dark outside. So I've got the car lights. I've got a torch on my phone. Just trying to shed some light on... Uh, on proceedings i've arrived to the place where i'm going to pick up the magic bag as you can see here it's actually a petrol station but it's a bp petrol station with an mns food shop in it so i'm hoping we're going to get some decent mns goodies what i'm going to do pick up the bag take it home and we'll have a look at it together okay folks i've made it back to green o towers we're in the famous dining room lighting again not brilliant because it's night time so <laughs> not ideal but We'll make do, won't we? So here is the magic bag that I picked up from that BP MNS. Let's have a little look at what we've got inside. It's taking some willpower not to have a peek on the drive home. So let's see what's first out. We have a packet of chocolate donuts. There we go. Only little ones in there. I think there's three little donuts. Well, that's not bad. Showing at £1.50 price on there. I should point out, this magic bag has cost me £4. Um, I think it said there was going to be £12 worth of monetary value of product in there. So we will see. We'll tot it up as we go along. If everything's priced up. Right, what have we got here? Jam donuts. <laughs> so these are from the Wild Bean Cafe. That's a, a little uh, fresh food kind of thing that you get in the, uh, in the BP garages. Right, what else is here? We have a packet of jasmine rice. <laughs> okay, it's got today's date as the use by on, but I'm sure that'll be fine tomorrow. Actually, I might have a little plan for something with that. It can come up on a video if I film that tomorrow, so that's quite nice. <coughs> we have something here called a santini tomato salad i don't know if that's a kind of tomato or whatever maybe it is again today's date as the use by on there but it looks like there's some uh, some interesting different leaves in there a bit of spinach perhaps tomatoes something icebergy there's a dressing in there too yeah that looks quite nice anything else yes we do so in here we have some slow roasted tomatoes with mozzarella. So they're little mozzarella balls. What do they call those? Mozzarella pearls or something maybe? They're a little bit bigger than that perhaps. With some, well, slow roasted tomatoes. They're a bit like sun-dried tomatoes, I guess, aren't they? So that's quite nice. That would go nicely with the salad, that's for sure. And one more thing in here. Oh, a big mozzarella. <laughs> So we've got baby mozzarellas and big mozzarella. So that's uh, that was two pound reduced to seventy six p on a yellow sticker. Again, today's date is a use by, but I'm sure tomorrow that will be fine. So what have we got overall then? So we've got the mozzarella, the little mozzarella balls, a nice tub of fresh looking salad, some jasmine rice all by itself, and two little packets of donuts from. The wild bean cafe section so i think overall that's not bad for four quid is it the kids will be 
chuffed with these. Might go and pack lunches tomorrow, perhaps. Um, a bit of salad, maybe that can go with dinner tomorrow evening. But, um, not quite sure how I'll use this much mozzarella, but I'll find a way. And like I say, I've got a little plan to be able to use this rice up maybe tomorrow lunchtime. I've got something that I bought to make a video out of that probably needs some rice to go with it. So <laughs> that could be just what I'm looking for. section down below if you think I've had a good deal or not I think I'd probably have overall uh, quite nice things even though they're today's use by date and it's pretty late at night now we're coming up to 20 to 11 at night so obviously I'm not going to be eating any of this today uh, but I think you know for tomorrow it all looks fresh enough to be, certainly last until then maybe one more day who knows and for four quid I don't think you can grumble too much at that there's three pounds worth of donuts there the nice salad all that cheese, the mozzarella and what have you, and the jasmine rice too. So yeah, I think overall that's pretty good value for four quid. I've got to try there again. It was quite a big M&S shop in there really, I suppose, for a petrol station. I thought it would just be like a little section of sandwiches and what have you. But it was almost yeah, like, like the same sort of size as a, as a sort of mini convenience store, like a co-op or a spa or whatever that you might have local to you or a one-stop, that kind of size, but all full of M&S products. So I definitely think it's worth me checking that out again. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It's good to be back. <laughs> it has been a little while since I uploaded any content, but luckily plenty of you have stuck around, and hopefully uh, you'll in enjoy this video too. If you do enjoy it, don't forget, you can always leave a thumbs up for me to show your, your appreciation. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, why not consider clicking that little button and dinging your bell for notifications so you do not miss any of the content coming up on the channel. I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things a little bit more, a little bit more time on my hands post Christmas. So yeah, hopefully we'll get a, a bit more of a regular stream of content coming your way. Anyway, that's it from me for now. I will catch you on the next one.